Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how to build your first boat here in Stormworks. From the concept to actually being able to build your boat requires some basic understanding of several key elements of hull design here in game. The hull of your boat is the starting point of your creation. Now let's jump straight into the workbench and get started with building your first boat here in Stormworks and understanding some of the basic rules while building the hull. So we're in the workbench and the first thing we want to do and we recommend here is to go and turn symmetry mode on in the workbench. Symmetry mode will allow you to build on either side of your creation at the same time. Usually with hull designs here in game, they are more or less identical on either side. So especially in the planning phase, it is quite useful to turn that on. So to turn symmetry mode on, all you have to do is go to symmetry and click on the X plane. You'll notice now whenever you place a block down, it actually mirrors it on either side, saving you a lot of time later on. The next thing we want to do is we want to get the actual length and width of our creation or our boat here. To do that, all we have to do is actually go and click and drag a block. And you'll notice in the bottom right, it actually comes out with the measurements of it. So currently it's saying that this is five meters. We can go and add another five meters on the other side for ourselves. And if you don't see the measurements underneath at the bottom right, just make sure you have got measurements turned on in your workbench here. Now that we've got that, we can kind of start getting the skeleton shape of our hull that we want. Now you can start using anything you want to design this. I just like to put a couple square blocks down to get kind of the length of it. And then I can put a couple square blocks down on the sides here and we can see how big we want our actual hull to be. So you'll notice there, I want it a little bit more wider so we're going to go and add a couple more blocks there. We can delete anything excess that we don't want. And now that we have this little skeleton, we can start adding the actual wedges to start making the curves of our hull. Now there's tons of different wedges that we have here in Stormworks at the moment. We have a simple one by one wedge. We have two by ones. We have two by fours. We have so many different types. So it's up to you on what you want to use to build your own creation. For our example, we're going to stick with simple one by one wedges. So we can go to the side here and we can choose what we want. So I'm going to go and delete some blocks and then I'm going to go and click and drag to put my wedges on there. So you'll notice I've got a nice little curve on the side here. We're going to go to the front of our ship also, the bow, and we're going to start actually putting some wedges in there too. So I'm going to delete where I want the wedges and I'm going to delete any excess blocks and I can simply go and click and drag them. So you can notice there, we've got a nice curve in the front. We've got a small little curve on the side. Now it's time to actually go and join them. Now, once again, you can use multitude of different wedges here. We're gonna be sticking with the very basic wedges and basic blocks. So the next thing we're going to do is get a permit. Okay, we're gonna get a permit there. We're gonna put it down right here at the bottom and we're gonna click and we're gonna go and drag it all the way to the top. You'll notice it's gone and created a really nice little curve there. We can start filling out the extra pieces. So I'm gonna get an inverse pyramid. I'm gonna put that down here at the bottom and you can notice that I can go and join those two pieces. We're gonna carry on repeating the same process until we completely matched up with that side. So you'll notice there, I'm gonna get another inverse pyramid. I'm gonna fill it in here and we're gonna continue and continue this process until it matches the other side. So we're going to put another inverse pyramids. We're going to go and grab that. And we got one left to do. So we can go and put down there. We can join it up. And now you'll notice that this has got the same angle. So all we do is get a wedge block and we can go and join it together. So we can continue repeating that process until we've completely matched everything. So you can see here, I'm just going to put some blocks down. We can delete them later on if we don't need them. We're going to get our pyramids. We're going to put a permit down, drag it until the top, another one down, drag it to the top. And now you can start filling out all the blocks here. But now we come to this top part and we need to get this filled in. So we're going to take some wedges again. We're going to put them up. We're going to rotate them. We're going to click and drag them until they reach that end. And now we've gone and filled out the bow of our boat here. So you can see it's got some nice curves to it. It's nice and rounded on the sides. Now all that's left is to go and do the back of our creation. So we can click and drag it and we can start putting the wedges on. If you want to select any block that you've already placed down, simply hold control 
and click on it and you can go and select it here. We're going to put the rest of the wedges down. Simply make sure they are rotated in the right direction. And then we can finish off by going and pulling out the extra pieces that we need. And there we go. We've now got your hull design that we wanted. We can go and delete any extra blocks that we don't need. This is obviously the skeleton that we were using earlier on to get our shape. So we can delete all these extra blocks inside of our hull. Now, in theory, you would think because we've gone and created almost like a bathtub hull here, this would go and float. Now, yes, it will. It will go and float because all of these blocks are able to float in game. And currently, each one of these only have an actual mass of one. And you can see that if you go and click on it, it actually shows you the mass of it. So we can go and spawn it in. And you'll notice here that actually it's not going to float that well. And there's water inside there. That's not that good. Well, that's because this is not a sealed area. There is no, there currently is no air pocket and there is no buoyancy in this creation. So to get some, all you have to do is go and make a sealable area. So we're going to click and drag in the front. We're going to leave about two blocks inside here. And we're going to go and click and drag and close our entire hole off. That has now created a lovely, nice air pocket of space inside our creation. And this is where Stormworks is going to get its buoyancy from. We can go and spawn that in and straight away you'll notice how buoyant that is in comparison to the last one where it was completely open. Now that we've got our hull, we can carry on working with it. So there are a couple key elements that you need to keep in mind when you carry on building your hull here. Of course, there is a point to notice that your creation might list to either side. And that could be because of a weight imbalance. As you start adding your bridge or your cargo areas or your systems and cranes and things like that, your creation might, as I said, list to one side. And you'll notice that if I put some weight blocks on the one side, your creation is going to list to the one side, which is not good. So to counter that or to see if they do have any weight issues, just go and try and find your center of mass. If you don't have it and you can't see this little pink thing, make sure you go and click on center of max and make sure it's turned on. You can see here, if we do make a weight imbalance, it actually goes and shifts the center of mass to the right hand side. Okay, and we can straight away tell that it's off weight. So we can counter it by using some more weight blocks on the other side. Now, if we were to go and jump on the creation right now, you will notice that it's probably quite easy to go and make it tilt like this. It's not that stable. And that's because it has no ballast. It's nothing actually making it heavy at the bottom. Okay, you can see our center of mass is currently dead smack on in the center of our creation. We want to try and get that as low as possible to prevent rolling of our creation. And to do that, we want to add some ballast underneath the boat. So we're going to go and delete some blocks and we're going to add some simple weight blocks. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's going to weigh it down. It will weigh it down. But the thing is, you still have enough buoyancy inside this air pocket here to keep your boat afloat. So we can go and spawn in again. You'll see it still floats. It's a little bit deeper in the water, but it is much more stable in comparison to what it was earlier on. And you can carry on adding more and more and more weights inside here as much as you want. However, just keep in mind, of course, the more weights you add, the more actual buoyancy you are going to need in your creation. So we'll need to make that interior space a little bit bigger so it doesn't completely sink. You can see it's load a lot now, but it's much more stable in comparison to what it was earlier on. Now, another rule of thumb here and another cool element that you want to keep in mind is possibly adding some sections inside of your hull. The reason why we recommend that you put sections in here is that if by accident you ever go and crash your creation or you damage the hull, water is going to get inside. And if you were to leave this as one big empty area, water would go and fill in this area and your whole creation would sink because in theory it has no more air pocket and no more ballast. You can see if we imagine we make a hole here and we spawn it in, your creation is going to sink instantaneously. Whereas if you've created sections inside of your actual hull, that way it gives you enough time to make a repair using the repair tool while you have it in game or just by going and returning back to the workbench. So imagine we have a couple different sections in here for your hull. 
and we still have that big hole at the bottom here or the back. If we go and spawn it in now, you'll notice the back section has filled with water, but your actual boat is still afloat. That way you'll have enough time to maybe jump down, repair that damaged block, or even drive back to your workbench to make the repair in the workbench. Now, as I said earlier, there are many, many, many different ways that you can create your hull here in Stormworks. And that's the lovely thing about this game is it's up to you to use your own creativity to build something really and truly amazing. Now that we've covered some of the basic key points and key things to keep in mind while building your hull here in Stormworks, it's now time to add your engines. Be sure to join me in the next video of this tutorial series for a guide on how to add engines to your creation. But until then, I hope you have enjoyed this video and found some entertaining and informative as always, and we'll see you in the next one.